This is the modern day battlefield and the perfect environment for both German and UK soldiers to work together and put their latest military equipment to the test. The aim is to learn from one another as they prepare to fight side by side on future operations. If we look at the exercise as a whole, we've actually had the opportunity to see how each other work, which is always an interesting experience. Obviously within NATO, um, other, other forces are working together a lot, and this on our home turf in Salisbury is a really just good opportunity to get, uh, to get some experience. It's always important to, to train with friendly forces, of course, we are trained and fight in the same wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, and we have to learn how other nations communicate uh, and to train the TCPs, so how it works so that we can train and fight together when we go to mission. 1st Battalion, the Scots Guards and the German Army have worked closely together before, but with 70% of the world's population expected to live in cities by the year 2045, urban training areas are key when putting their skills into action. Urban training areas is always fantastic training. It's, it's the modern, modern day battlefield, so we should uh, really try and get as much exposure in this environment as possible. We live in urban terrain, and so I think all missions that will start in future, we have always urban terrain, so it's necessary that we learn how to train and how to fight in urban terrain. British and German army chiefs were watching closely from the sidelines, ensuring that their troops were working well on both a tactical and personal level. We are working on the same goals, we are working in the same missions, we are allies for a long time and we will continue this and therefore it's necessary to operate and know the standards. It's about trust, mutual respect, understanding each other um, and when you speak to the troops here today, yeah, you can see that in spades, you know, the, the understanding of each other's challenges, each other's opportunities has been, uh, has been really impressive, actually. UK troops may be leaving Germany by 2020, but what today's demonstration has shown is that working together and sharing capabilities is extremely important when looking forward to future operations.